What's going on guys? Today we're gonna do an in-depth build on the center position on NBA 2K18, man. Uh pretty much I just wanna give y'all my opinion on the best center build. They got the driving and finishing, and is if you do it like this, like say you switch it and you put driving and finishing as well as defending, you get Hall of Fame Lob City Finisher, Hall of Fame Posterizer, man. So that's pretty good right there, man. I gotta I gotta keep it real, man. That's insane. But it, what if that's not all you want to do? Because there's a lot of people that that's not all they want to do. Just dunk the ball, you feel me, and defend. Because it doesn't always work. You don't always get the right animations. Um, so you got driving and finishing, and then you got rebounding. But this just gives you the rebounding badges. So I would say that's also not too good. Shot creating is actually pretty goddamn good if you ask me because if you look at the driving and finishing it's maxed out right there on the top layups and dunks and then if you go over the shot creating you just got two lower or actually one lower technically speaking because i'm sure i'm pretty sure that that white thing you can get to that last bar so you're basically just missing a couple of little points but you can still get posterizer and when you get the legend badge all this all the um Gold badges go to Hall of Fame. And that has been confirmed. So, that's pretty lit, man. All them gold badges are going to be Hall of Fame. I'm pretty sure that the silver badges stay silver and all that. Because that would be way too overpowered. Imagine if all your badges... That would actually be insane, dude. You got all your badges Hall of Fame. Um, but actually... What I wanted to say was, I don't want to, you don't want to do driving and finishing. I'm so sorry, y'all. And you don't want to do three-point shooting because you'll just be spot up. Your dunks are trash. You feel me? You put defending, is still trash. Post scoring, it's decent. You feel me? This is probably one of the best positions at the center this year. Rebounding and shot creating. But my thing is, man, I might just go with shot creating as my primary. But it's funny because that you can't do that. So I would recommend uh, post scoring. I think. Let me see. Because if you do driving and finishing, because I don't, I know a lot of people don't want to be. Some people may want to do it, but not me, for the most part. Um, if you do defending and shot creating, you actually are a pretty good build on that little aspect. Hmm. And then say you put post, your post offense is like halfway, a little bit over halfway. And if you do defending and rebounding, it goes like that. Uh, I'm not sure, man, but I know I want to, if you want to be able to shoot, your best option is right here, man. Driving and finishing and shot creating, man. You get a pretty, pretty decent mid-range, sorry. Uh, your layups and dunks is pretty much maxed out, man. You will be dunking on people, regardless of what they are. And you'll be hitting the middies, man. You don't need no three-pointers if you're playing twos and threes. You don't need no three pointers from in my opinion. I be in teams without using the three pointer. Um and they are three point three point shooting team and they're pretty competitive. You feel me? It's all about how you play with your friends. Cause you need friends on NBA 2K18. Um pretty much if you don't have any friends to play with, um, I don't know what to tell you, man. You gotta start making some friends and not looking for group section for uh the 2K18 prelude, man. Cause um when this game come out, there's going to be a lot of competitive dudes out here, man. And I'm going to be one of them. Like I said, I, I don't think I'm the best, but I will be here, man. You feel me? Yeah. Driving and finishing is going to be my primary, and this is going to be my secondary right here. Um, Yeah, pretty much this is going to be the best center build. So what I want to do is max out my um height because I want to snag over everybody, obviously. Actually, let me check what my rebound it goes to. Ah, that's what takes a toll, your rebounding. But if I'm 7'3", I really don't think it's going to matter, really, to be honest. Unless I'm going up against a glass cleaner. Like a 100% 
true glass cleaner. And I'm gonna max out my wingspan since I will be a Duncan archetype. And then what you wanna do, just max out your weight, man. Put 340 pounds, man, cause you're gonna be a beast in the paint. Then you got 25.2 inches. Uh, my handness, I wanna do right hand. My number, we're gonna do. What are you gonna do? Let's do 33. Why not? Uh, where are we from, y'all? I already know that. We are from. South Florida. Nah, I'm just kidding, but we're going to do South Florida. Uh, this is the summary of the best center build right here, man. I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot for y'all. You got the shot cream athletic finisher, man. You'll be able to finish in the paint as well as shoot your mint ranges at a decent rate, man. I believe your mint range will go up to 75, 77, something like that. You feel me? It's pretty good, man. Like I said, man, take this into consideration as well. Take in your height. Take, take your height into consideration as well. If you make him too tall, he may get less shooting, um, as you've seen with my wingspan and stuff like that. But pretty much, this is going to be the end of the build, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Leave a like if this helped. And you feel me? I hope you have the best center build out there, man, after watching this video. If you think you got a better center build, let me know down below in the comments. But for the most part, I feel like this is the most versatile. And when I say versatile, I mean he can do more than one thing. I don't want to just do one thing. If I would have made a 100% glass cleaner, it would have been trash. Because he can't dunk. He can't put the ball back up. It's over for that. Um, but yeah, man. And he can't shoot mid-ranges. So that's his super floor. He's going to be in the paint. And when he misses, he's selling. So, just like last year. We're going to see. This is going to be it. Thanks for watching. Stay blessed up. Hope you had a great day, and we living, man. Let's get it.